I wonder if they know the opportunity that they have. I mean, I know I talked about before, like Avery being away from home and missing his friends and missing his family. Um, but like we've got guys from Chicago, from Los Angeles, from Dallas, from Puerto Rico to be able to live, to work, to share that experience. Um, what Coach Peck is doing here, I mean, yes, he's training them and he's he's getting them ready for school and he's getting ready for, you know, he's getting them ready for their futures, but there are so many different experiences that I see them have even in my classroom. Did you guys buy any real food or is it all just junk food? Junk food. Yeah. I got some real food. And uh, I got some brownies. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a Christmas scoop. Yeah, it's the season to be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm hungry. All right. Pizza. Page 190. Let's go. Homework. They will tease Godwin about his accent. Well, where would they have heard Godwin's accent at home? Like, you know, where would they, Will and, Will and Vic coming from Los Angeles, where are they going to get the opportunity to meet someone who's from Chicago? Um, DJ brings a different life experience. Avery brings a different life experience. So yes, they learn about how to work together as a team and how the sport works and how to reach their, to reach their best. But they're learning things on the side that, like just about, human life and, and living with each other and sharing our cultures that I would be impressed to see if they knew. Get in with him! Get in with him! Yeah! I'm okay with you initially, boom, here. Now you just kind of froze and said, okay, go ahead, do what you want. No! Reverse pivot, block his knees, give it up. Here we go. Just be patient. Wings when we can just wait. They're not guarding that ball screen. We go that two up. He sets that ball. He didn't make any attempt to fight through there and nobody ran it. You went off there with two soft ass dribbles and you took a 15 foot groove spot jumper. You're going to get that all night. Just keep switching guys in there. Go the other way. Run it this way. Go to the left. Now you're shooting elbow jumpers for 16 minutes. Great job again. This tournament did a nice job there. Okay, Thursday morning we leave for Kentucky. Okay, it's early morning. It's kind of a long day. Got us in a layover in I think Chicago for quite a while. We'll break it up by having you know eating lunch and you know kind of not doing too much. But tomorrow we'll practice tomorrow evening. Okay, we'll practice at the back end of the day. Let you guys get as much recovery as you can. Now, we're not gonna sit there, I'm not interested in going for two and a half, three hours. Just wanna get your bodies moving, get shots up, and then we're gonna tweak a few things offensively going into Lexington. We're gonna add a couple wrinkles to some of the, just a few of the things that we do. That's all we wanna do. We wanna be prepared when we go there for stuff that we might see that we feel we need to work on. Because, I mean, it's not, they're not a threat. They're not gonna come back in eight minutes from a 40 point deficit, unless we just lay down, literally. Okay, but you got to always compete against the game in situations where you say, okay, how can we get better out of this right now? That group that left the floor, get better. Work on your game. Work on parts of your game defensively. Work on boxing. Work on those things, right? Because that's only going to help the whole. Just keep your poise. We just got to finish. 16 minutes, finish. Keep attacking, okay? And defensively is where it's going to be decided, depending on how, or, or it defensively is going to decide how early we put them away. That's, it. that's what it is. Okay? Yeah. Let's go.
To see more from the season, go to theseason.wordpress.com. Give me one more. To see more from the season, go to theseason.wordpress.com. That's cool.